hello welcome back you amazing people i'm talking to you amazing person right there in front of me today in the create mod we are going to do some building let's start with a floor Just like that, I'm out of resources already. But this is the uh, this is the design we're going with here. I kind of like it. We've got a combination of new blocks from the Create mod, and they've got these like these this whole like set of layered blocks. That's what they're called, like layered gabbro, layered andesite, and layered. Uh, this is weathered limestone, and I think this is a nice like mellow subdued color palette but adds enough i didn't want to have too much noise in the floor but i wanted it to have a little bit of interesting so we got like a little zigzag pattern here i think it looks fantastic honestly um but yeah these layered things are really cool like when you you know when you break them they kind of like automatically get borders on basically what's a what's what's adjacent to them kind of thing so i like i like those i like the style I like everything and in the middle here we've got these are actually fluid containers like tanks to hold fluids like lava and water and stuff the thing I like about these is they look opaque, but they're actually transparent and with a little bit of brass style, they add a little bit of zing to the floor. So I like them. I like them. So yeah, the whole spawn floor will be spawn proof. But as you can see, we're not even like remote. We're not even a third of the way done with the floor of this factory here. And like I said, we're out of resources. So we're going to do, we got, we got so much to do today, guys. We, I want to build an amazing storage room today is my goal. Uh, but before we do that, we have to just get a stupid amount of resources. So to do that, we need to build an amazing underground digging system and before we get to that you might be oh hi person <laughs> hi other person <laughs> that's on he's uh he's doing stuff over there uh before we get to the to the digging though you might be wondering what this is this is a temporary thing i did i did this in a live stream actually and it is to make automatically convert cobble into weathered limestone which is this fantastic new kind of gray block it's that block right there basically i put gravel or, or cobble down at that end it grinds the gravel along the conveyor belt you can put these grindstones sideways so cobble goes to uh what is it gravel gravel goes to sand sand goes goes to lime sand and then i have this quad lava cooker here which turns it to limestone and then if you wash limestone it turns into weathered limestone all completely automated and of course i have my cobble thing over there all this stuff it looks ugly it's temporary just to solve some problems now once i get the factory built and stuff this stuff will be coming out and i may put in real versions of something like this may not we'll see oh he fixed it already <laughs> that's no fun we uh we, we had a live stream together zed and i and we worked on this which i'll show you in a second uh but there was some there was an incident with some blazes and uh we kind of burned down half his windmill so check this out. This is what we did in a live stream together, and it was so much fun. I don't know if you've seen Zed's last episode or his episode number two, I think. If not, you got to check it out. He basically did something that I was going to do very soon, and that is... Wait for it. You can pick up spawners and relocate them in this world and it's just amazing that you can do that so you can see he's got like blaze spawners in there skelly spawners in there zombie spawners spider spawn pretty much all the spawners he's just got them all stacked in there and obviously he's gonna try and get more so i think that's what uh nine he's gonna try and get 27 of them um so he did that but then we did we made this cool door here this like overhang system this quad fold system that covers this up so when you want to turn it on now, now it turns on because there's no sunlight in there. When you want to turn it off, you just do this, and the sunlight turns the whole thing off. And we also have this little extendo platform down there that, that kind of pokes out. So that's how you get down there and, like, add more spawners and stuff down there. It's just it's cool. It's cool stuff. I love this mod. Now, the real reason I'm coming over here is to show you this, okay? This, again, is something Zed and I did in a previous live stream. If you're not watching the live streams, Wednesday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific time, you should check it out. They're a lot of fun. Please stop by. But we made this, and now this is an automatic tunnel boring system that automatically collects the devices for you, or the, the you know, the, all the minerals and stone and everything it digs out it puts in these chests we had no idea how to build one of these and this is what we came up with on the spot it looks like it's actually been torn apart a little bit or oh no he added he must have changed a couple things it looks a little bit different but what i want to do today is basically make one of these for myself but you know me i have to kick it up to like 10x 
this size. It's going to be amazing. There's so many things I did. I keep forgetting to tell you guys. Like, I did this, too, which is pretty awesome. Um, You guys saw the, the, the kelp launcher for Kate we did last episode, which was a ton of fun. We built this kelp farm and everything. Um, And, but, and, and it, you know, makes kelp cooked blocks or kelp uh, blocks. and Dried kelp blocks. That's the word I'm looking for. And it fills up this storage chest here, okay? And when this storage chest fills up, or rather gets to a certain threshold... Uh, this thing right here, this is a stockpile switch, which can monitor a container. And it's very cool because it has like a, a hot, a higher end where it like turns off and a lower end where, where it'll turn back on. And then you can like invert the switch and stuff. Really cool stuff. And then it goes to this, uh, redstone link. This is wireless redstone, which is amazing. You can put down one of these little redstone link things. This is a redstone sender. And the way they communicate is you choose a frequency here. So the frequency for this guy, and you do that by just choosing two items, which is just brilliant. So I chose iron nugget and dried kelp and it's signaling this guy all the way down here. This was a comment in, uh, in one of my, in, in the last video. And I just, I appreciate it. Cause it's such a, it's such a good idea. The idea now is it, it sends to this guy. So when that signals, because this has the same frequency pairing, it'll signal this guy, which boop, oh, oh, <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. So anyways, what it does now is the kelp, when the storage up there gets filled up, the kelp will now get sucked into this funnel here and go into this double compost system. And now we're making bone meal for days with our extra kelp. I love it. All right, so here we go. Let's get to the good stuff. We are going to start making vehicles. This, uh, this mod just continues to amaze me. It has vehicles and the way they did it is absolutely in incredible it's brilliant it's brilliant so you got this thing here this is the cart assembler okay and this is what allows you to stick any kind of combination of blocks to a mine cart so check this out i can take a standard old vanilla mine cart plop it in there okay now if i want i can start building up a structure on top of this guy right we're gonna make a little a little thingy with a thingy something like that okay and i'm not sure if those chassis are right or not but check it out this is amazing when i power this cart assembler bloop Okay, didn't look like it did much there, but watch this, watch this. Now, those blocks are attached to this cart. I can right click on this cart. I did it wrong. Okay, let's try this again here. I now made little half a T here, basically. And now I can flick this, pops up that, the whole thing is attached, okay? I can configure the shape of this whole vehicle here. But like I was saying, the best part now is I can right click on this, doink. And now in my inventory, you can see I have a mine cart contraption. I can pick this up, take it where I go. This thing could be like a hundred blocks wide. Whenever I want, bloop, I just right click on the track and there it is. There's my contraption. It's rotated 180 degrees. That's the frustrating part, but check this out. It's actually like it has collision. You know, I, I can't collide through these blocks and it moves, the whole thing moves and we can start attaching all kinds of crazy things to this vehicle. When I want to work on it again, I just wrench it again with a right click, take my, uh, my contraption, put it back in the assembler and then just depower and then the blocks settle down. They're actual blocks in the game now and I can work on it, change the shape, add things to it, whatever I want. Love it. <laughs> oh, this is great. All right, so this is this is the basic contraption here now and I'm gonna kind of show you how what this is doing here. This is everything but the drills and the storage, but it's the heart of this vehicle here, okay? Obviously the car goes in there, I pop it up. So we have two sections, one wing off here and one wing going forward, all right? This thing will, drive along forward it will lay cobble on the ground if necessary like if it runs into a lava patch it will make a a block path for it to walk on and it will also lay rails right in front of it okay and then in the back there's this plow here which scoops up the rails so they're kind of self-recycling and they go into a storage system and then and then this guy here, these little hand things you see here are what they're called deployers and they can like place things down. So I got two deployers. I got one cobble deployer here and one cobble deployer there. This one is attempting to place cobble at the ground. Now, if it's just going through a normal cave and there's stone, this will do nothing. This is basically here just for if it runs into lava or something, you can keep going over the lava. And the one up there is in case it runs into like a lava pool above, it's actually building a ceiling above it so that the lava will cascade across the sides of it sort of thing. And by the time the lava gets down here, the, the vehicle will be long past. So I think that protects us from up top, which is what we need. Um, and then this guy here, this is the hand that you can see is, is trying to put tracks down. He's going to try and put tracks down right in front of it as it's going along. Now, the great thing about these vehicles is any anywhere I stick a, a storage chest or any kind of container, all the things that need inventory will share that you know that that shared storage system so if i need cobble if this thing needs to place more cobble it'll just look in all the chests that are attached and pull it out so obviously as this is digging there's going to be plenty of cobble for him to place and the track like i said is self-recycling so when he scoops it up 
he puts it in a chest and then when he needs them he finds that chest and automatically pulls it out so this thing is just it's just gonna go forever so now of course we need to put on the business end which is just a wall of drills that are gonna destroy anything in its path and the one we had over there you know it was cute it had like 25 drills on it we're gonna do a little bit more than that behold the ultimate digger thing that's really good at digging stuff underground with with a lot of drills and stuff it, it digs okay this is it i've added some chests to the back now for just it's tons and tons of storage for all the bits we're gonna pick up here this is the terrifying part now because like these things are dangerous, right? I'm making such a big structure here that when I put it in the world, it could like break other blocks and everything. It just caused all kinds of problems. I could lose the whole machine. So here we go. I'm going to use a minecart with furnace so that this thing is self powering. Okay. It's in there now. Okay. I picked it up. I want to make sure that everything, everything is lifting up the whole wall of chassis there with the drills on the back, everything. This guy's lifting up up top should be lifting up. I think we're good and in theory now all I gotta do <laughs> this is terrifying is right click on this guy uh actually hold on I want to make sure that this is lock rotation it is okay uh we're gonna pick up this guy now and go bam I said bam oh okay I now have that entire thing in this one item in my hand let's go find a cave very very far away now, as we're looking for a place to plop this thing down and cause some massive destruction, I want to remind you guys, we're going to be working on my storage room today, which is obviously going to be all creatified up. I think it's going, to, it's going to be a crazy cool plan, and I want you guys to see it. So stick around for that coming up in a bit. I don't think I've ever been this nervous to do something in Minecraft. Like, I have this massive vehicle I just built. It was a lot of expensive materials. We're down here at Y11, and I just feel like with one click, I may lose this whole thing. But, you know... YOLO, right? <laughs> All right, we got our cart deployer here. Uh, I want to set this on. Uh, there's like different ways you can control the rotation of it and stuff. So I think I want to do like fit lock rotation. I'm hoping if I just click here, it faces forward the way I'm facing. Now, if it turns around or whatever, which it happens to do sometimes, let me close some of this off so ain't nobody going to give me a surprise while I'm in here. Excellent, excellent. Um, if it turns around, then, you know, I don't really care. I'm so far away from my base. I don't care which direction that, whoop, this thing goes right now. There's a frame rate hitch there. Um, what I am worried about, though, is actually, like, just deploying this thing. And it just, like, I don't I don't know. Like, where do all where does the whole machine go? I, I don't want to dig out the whole area of the machine. So, uh, oh, good guy. no, no, digging, dig faster, dig faster, this, right click, oh, oh. <laughs> okay i i couldn't dig i had to switch to the to the uh wrench the engineer wrench and shift right oh my gosh i am in the machine i should have brought ender pearls with me that would have been smart <sighs> okay okay uh, i think i fixed things and re re-slime ball the things that need to be re-slime balled and everything i got my wrench here if anything goes bad all i gotta remember is just right click the furnace at the whole minecart furnace and pick pick the whole thing up again but it looks like the whole thing is engaging correctly so we're gonna lift it up all right you know what let's just do it let's just do it we're, we're gonna we're gonna put a single piece of coal in ah uh, go i said go i said why did, why you not go? Okay, let's try again. Furnace minecart, lift, and go. Oh! Oh! What happened? What happened? Why 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 you stop? Oh, can I drill through obsidian? Is that not a thing? Oh, I wonder. Who? No, no! No! <laughs> he blew up against the drills in this thing. The drills are like not today creeper step up your explosion game okay it looks like oh no massive design flaw it looks like drills can't go through obsidian my whole plan so the idea was i was gonna drive on y11 and then these guys would like go below the level and just like scoop through the lava and dig up all the diamonds down to y level six. Oh, apparently not okay test number 47 go oh 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 no what happened 
It was doing so good until it wasn't. Okay, after much trial and error, I think I figured out the problem. This guy who's laying the track was sometimes missing and laying the track too late and the minecart was driving off the track and there was no track underneath him. So that's why he was stopping. So we, uh, we basically rebuilt it and slid all of this stuff back once. So there's an extra gap between the rail deployer and the minecart. And now everything's gonna work. <laughs> oh, happy day, happy day. That was great. Yeah, apparently creepers can see through the uh, the machines when they're in like vehicle mode. So he just like walks right through that wall of drills. Like, well, I don't see any problem here. Of course he blew up right at the worst possible spot, destroying all the expensive components. So yeah, we went back to the base, we rebuilt. Hi Wolf and Diggy Machine of Extreme Failure. Deploy Mark II. Do I have this on the thing with the thing and the lock rotation? All right, let's uh, see. Excellent. Okay, for real, this is going to work right now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Light it up. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Tunnels are being dugificated. I should probably take this with me. Come on, come on. No! Give me that! Get, get the thing! The thing! Okay. Come back, Digger! This is gonna be crazy! I, I wanna add more drills on, on the top. All the ones I took off the bottom, I wanna add them up to the top now. Rails being placed, rails being picked up, items are being stored in chests. The real test now is once we hit lava, what I need to do is I need to put a cobble filter on this so that it just poops out all the cobble because these chests are gonna be filled with cobble. You know another little feature that I would love to add? A torch layer like a, a torch deployer on like on the wing so that as it goes, it drops torches like every 15 blocks or so. I don't know if that's possible. I mean, I know I know the deployer can put it on torch. I don't know how you would time it, but that would be an amazing add-on because creepers be creeping up behind me. Oh, lava, lava, do, do good things. You're doing great things. Huh? Okay. Good job, little diggeroo. Oh, I never doubted you for a second. Oh, that was amazing. He's just like, lava ain't got no problem. Oh, that's so stressful. But it's amazing. Look at this guy. He's unstoppable. I think there's more danger of me falling in the lava here than the digging device. Okay, we dug and dug and dug. I, if you told me we went a thousand blocks, I wouldn't be surprised. We got to walk all the way back. We'll figure that out. But I took all the cobble out and this is what we got, which a ton of andesite. That makes me happy. I needed the iron very badly. 16 diamonds, I gotta say. I'm not impressed with 16 diamonds from here all the way down there. That's crazy. Uh, a lot of granite. Very good. More andesite, more coal. This is all good stuff. All good stuff. Uh, but that's it. And the rest of the chests are empty. So I think this is pretty good. I mean, this is what I'm going to keep getting, right? Andesite, diamonds, iron, redstone, all valuable things. All things I need. <laughs> you know what the best part of all this is? It's like one just mega shulker, right? Bloop. There we go. That whole thing, including all those items in my inventory. It's no problem. 400 and about 60 blocks. Not too bad. And fast forward a whole bunch of hours and I have been busy. We finished off the floor to the factory. Took it all the way back here. This may get pushed back a little bit more. But this is roughly the size. It's going to go all the way down here, all the way down here. Skadoodle over. I got jump. I, got, I can do it. Okay. All the way over here. And then it turns and makes an L and goes all the way down there, getting all these resources here. This is because this was, this happened because of that run we just did. And more importantly, I have been super busy for like two hours now gathering this. It doesn't look like much, but it is <laughs> over 70. I need, I need 75 brass funnels. We got a lot more there and 75 barrels. We got mechanical arms and, and powered latches and shoots and gear shifts. We of course are going to make a fully automatic auto sorted storage room done create style. And we're going to make it in a hole that you take a lever to get down into. And it's going to be somewhere under my feet. I think this will do nicely. This will do nicely. I picked this spot right here because I think, you know, my the, the main doorway to my building is going to be right here. There's going to be like some kind of big door that's probably like 
about that big so this kind of felt like it lined up with the center of it so right as you walk in you can quickly access the storage room and it kind of matched the pattern in the floor and stuff here so this is what we went with we have a five by five hole with a sunken 360 degree storage room and well i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with the back wall yet if there's gonna be a doorway out somewhere or something but it doesn't really matter because the thing is here's how this works that floor right there First thing we need to do is put that on an elevator where when you step on the pressure plate down there, it lifts the, the five by five floor up flush here. And those pressure plates are gonna come with it so that when it's up here and you step on it, it's gonna sink down in. So it's basically gonna be like a hidden storage room that you can quickly access, do your business, hop on a pressure plate and get out. And I think it's gonna be just amazing. So I'm so pleased with the result. This is working pretty much how I want it. So we got the four pressure plates up on top here, okay? Walk across, everything's fine. As soon as you hit one of these pressure plates, you just boop, and the whole thing just slides on down. And I'm of course gonna speed it up because it's way too slow, but you come down here, you got like basically 360 degrees of storage access, whatever you need, all crafting benches down here. I'm thinking of having like another room right here that like you walk out into like bulk storage or something. I'm not sure yet. I'm still trying to think about create specific solutions, uh, but when you're done, you just hit a pressure plate again and it takes you right back up. And if this is about twice as fast or three times, go. That was supposed to happen. Anyway, this is what we got down here so far. You can see the wall of chests. That's the, obviously the, the floor is up. Um, that's the room you'll be standing in. We have the mechanical piston here. And we have this. Uh, this is also like simple and elegant with like their wireless redstone. Basically, I have four uh, wireless redstone signalers, like senders, under each of those pressure plates, and they stick to the floor. And then one receiver down here that receives that signal, and then a toggled latch. This is basically like your your T flip flop, essentially, right here that, that powers this gear shift, which reverses the signal of the uh, rotation here, which makes the lever the platform go up and down. Now for the fun part, and and what makes this entire sorted storage room so simple yet so amazing, and that is we are going to start playing with mechanical arms i haven't even touched these things yet but they are amazing here check this out bam okay i've got this mechanical arm now um well, it'll turn around eventually but these things have a two block radius where they can basically pick anything up and put anything down so you can specify a target location or a bunch of target locations or it'll put items down in a bunch of source locations where it'll pick items up and like i said they have a two block radius so that's why we have five by five walls here i got this thing right in the middle so it's even with that block and the way it works now is i can put brass funnels and this was these were super expensive to make 75 brass funnels i'm gonna have to remove that block there uh but each one of these the reason we're using brass funnels is because each one you can see has like a little filter here i could just configure the items that go in this filter and it can be many it can be complex it can be you know a list of items it can be classifications of items which is fantastic all kinds of things um and then all i gotta do is send a conveyor belt by here something like this with all the filters in place so now i think if i right click no that's not how it works shift right click Nope. Oh, wow, wow. That took me a long time to figure out. Okay, so you right-click to set the source, which is fine. Okay, so it's, like, I, it's going to pick up from these blue conveyor belts. And I think the problem was is I didn't have these funnels pointing in, so they were not valid places to put something, I think. There we go. Okay. So yeah, the, the the arm sits here. It'll pick up from anywhere there. I could even have it add these spots if I want. It could technically reach those. And then I just say it goes to possibly any of these so uh, 25 uh brass funnels okay so ba, 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 get them all like this and i again i gotta fix that one right there which i'll get to and then we just place this guy kadoink right there oh they organized the tron <laughs> and now what happens is when items go by here it'll basically just like oh i'm gonna pick that up and based on the filters that i set for all these it'll just start mashing all the items in there so we'll check it out in a bit check it out walk onto the pressure plate love it into my little storage room do all my bits here i'm gonna get item frames on all these here and then when you're done just hit a pressure plate again and you go right up to the top i think that's just amazing it took a little while to get this all just to, so the same pressure plates could toggle and stuff so basically i have a wireless redstone uh linkificators down there below the pressure plate so they're signaling that 
And then it goes over to the receiver over here, which flicks the switch there or the latch and makes the mechanical piston go up. But more importantly, we got all the gears in now to get all of the like, you know, acceleration and deceleration, get the right speeds in the right places. Uh, and, and we got all the uh, the conveyor belts in. So super slow conveyor belt going by here, which is intended so that the arms have plenty of time to pick the items up and put them in. The idea is that no matter how many items go by or how many items you drop in the chest, drop in the chest, the uh, this arm will be able to handle it all. And if it lets it go by, it's because it doesn't belong in one of these five. And if it goes if it goes down here, then this guy will handle it. And if he doesn't handle it, then the final guy will handle it. So I don't have filters set yet on all these brass filters. Here. That's going to be super tedious. But check this out. If the items get dropped on the conveyor belt, they come over, they turn the corner, and then this guy kicks in action. He's like, got it. Next one. Got it. Whoop. Next one. Burp, burp. <laughs> These things are so great. I love them. And, and it, it's like, they're just, they just work. They just work. And it's going to be able to sort 25 different chests automatically. Remember, each chest can have complex filters. I don't have to do the whole, like, leave one in each slot trick or anything. It's just magic. I think we're almost just about done here. I added a light to the middle of the floor. Not a light, a... It's actually a shroom light underneath that, but to keep the style, uh, we got the back wall started here. Now, what I've got is two places. So basically up here, this chest right here, you know, anytime I'm in my base and I got some extra bits and I just want to throw them in storage, I just throw them in that chest, okay? And they'll funnel, funnel down, if I can make this thing go again. They'll go down through this chute here and then onto this depot to get sucked up by the funnel and put right into the chest. I tried making the 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 uh, chutes just go right into the chest and I couldn't do it because then you couldn't like open the chest. It's very weird, but anyways, this works and it does the job. And also now I have a spot down here where if I want to, you know, I'm just doing some stuff and I've got, I want to put stuff back in storage. I could just empty them right in here because this guy is going to empty right like that. And that chute will just put things directly on the... Uh, the, the 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 conveyor belt right there so it works perfectly and the best part this stuff is super fast shoots work with like they do like 16 at a time or like stacks at a time it's not like a hopper where it's like one 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 this is like 16 16 a whole stack of that a whole bunch of these it's like it's just it's just done and the the hands can pick up a whole bunch at a time too so it looks like the conveyor belts are moving slow but this thing is going to sort super fast okay i think we're going to call this project done for the day i threw a crafting bench in there i hate this block here we'll find something that looks better there but obviously i need something that allows me to still open the chest but we're basically done we got we got the chest putter thing there and then i had to take off uh all of the brass funnels because it was just really confusing the thing so what we're gonna have to do unfortunately is anytime i want to add another chest add the brass funnel then and then reprogram the uh the mechanical arm but honestly it's not that big of a deal it's like a few clicks and you're done the bigger problem is going to be setting all the filters there's potentially 75 filters that need to be set here but i've got two right now i've got gears i got alloys and i've got coal let's see if it works okay the coal chest is empty the alloy chest is empty and the cog chest is empty so i'm gonna put these in, in like a little bit of a random order here we'll do some of this some of this some of this some of that and maybe some of that some of this watch how fast it picks up all my coal boop got it throwing some of this boop got it throwing some of that boop got it and now coal waiting for this guy to go around the back should be appearing now-ish there it is Okay, good. Oh, and the alloys just showed up. Excellent. And the cogs are right there. Any more? I think that's probably it, right? Was that all I had? I think that's all I had. Not a bad day. Not a bad day, if I do say so. We made our amazing auto digificator thing. We're going to make that even bigger. We're going to add more drills on that thing. Trust me. And we did the whole floor to the whole base, which I actually love this floor. And we got our automatic storage system complete with elevator system and mechanical arms and everything. Lots to come. Lots to come. I want to finish off, obviously, the walls of the base very soon. I want to get a very, very cool door in here that's, of course, going to be all creatified up and everything. So, of course, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.